Hello, folks. I wanted to share with you this. Oh. Hey, Tina. Yeah. I'm making a video, you know. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> All right. I'm Tony. And I'm Tina. And, and we're, we're TNT RV. Earlier this year, Tina and I visited with Lippert. We had to bring Bell in for some service. So they passed on some good advice to us, and I wanted to share that with you. One of their recommendations was when we lube up our slide, we want to use a product made by CRC. It's called Power Lube High Performance Lubricant with PTFE. And the reason for this is you want to use a lubricant that's not going to leave any kind of residue behind that would accumulate dust and debris. Uh, I'm going to bring you in a little closer and show you how I take care of this now. And so Bell is equipped with a rack and pinion slide. This is the rack and this is the pinion. And the reason you don't want to use any sort of white lithium grease or oil is you do not want to get this rack or pinion accumulated with dirt and debris from the road. It would gunk up the mechanism and cause you havoc down the road. So the best thing they said is just to clean it really well and use the CRC product um, and spray down the rack and the pinion. So we're back inside Bell right now and I wanted to show you how I condition the seals on the interior. I use a yardstick with a towel tape to it and uh, the other thing I wanted to point out is with our slide when it's in they recommend not sitting in the chairs or putting any weight on the slide when it's in the the floor here isn't really uh, I would say structurally sound and I'll show you a little closer what that looks like as well so in our slide we have uh, theater seating which we really enjoy and uh, I did, never did remove the, the plastic covering here. I thought it added some protection. Tina wants to remove it. I guess the Italian in me wants to keep the plastic on her furniture. Who knows? Anywho, but what I was saying earlier, underneath here, here's the, the carpeting. The slide, get you in, is actually off the ground here. It's suspended. So just with my hand, I'm going to lift that up. You can see it, it doesn't really have much support. So that's why you really don't want to sit on these or, or uh, put any kind of weight while they're in. So I'm going to bring it back and show you how I lube up these seals. Well, since I have the video in one hand and work with the other, I'm going to show you how I do this. I'm going to spray some of this conditioner on here. And then... We'll just take our nice and reach in there and we'll just wipe these seals. You don't want to spray the product directly in there because you really want to avoid having it touch the wallpaper. I don't think Tina would be very pleased if I did that, but this reaches in there nicely sorry for the bad angle but that's how I do it so we're on top of the slide and I'll go as far as I can reach and I'll hit that last foot or so from the other side so the bedside super easy and you just go ahead and Slide that in there. <clears throat> and there you go. We were able to get it done without putting any weight on the slide. So the outside is even easier than the inside. All we're gonna do is spray some of our uh, rubber seal conditioner on the cloth here and simply wipe the seal. And I try to avoid getting it on the paint. No sense getting the paint uh, dirty. But uh, that's kind of how I do that. 
and of course make sure you get that outside part there and then I'll go up the ladder and I'll use this to get underneath a slide topper and work the other end as well but that's essentially how I'll take care of that Tina here with another helpful tip with the slide Tony and I travel with a tape measure for many reasons but one of on the back of the tape measure we have it marked with a sharpie the exact distance of the slide so when we get to the site I can jump out measure make sure that we're clearing the pedestal or any other obstacles without having to eyeball it so another tip I wanted to share with you is the support of the rig once it's set up and level uh, as you can see we in the front and rear we have large wooden blocks that we put down and then I use a drill run the jacks down until uh, it ratchets at I think it's like hundred percent set to and I'll do all four corners make sure that's nice uh, and even and then what I use are these uh, little jack stands and they're made of aluminum they're light duty not meant to hold a lot of weight but I set them up in the front of the axle here and I'll take you back and I'll show you how I do that and the reason for this string here is so when we're leaving and I I want to have a visual that I have everything uh, removed so I put this in front of the tire and along the back by the cross chocks this way I know I got to remove these so ho hopefully that helps you but I'll show you what I do with this I'll bring you in a little closer so we're underneath the rig here and here's what I do I put it on the as far out as I can right on the axle here and as you can see this is even with the cross trucks you're gonna get some uh, movement here so this is why I like to support that and I am NOT putting a lot of force on there um, just enough to to take some of the the motion out of it and then you can also see here oh I have that yellow rope and it goes right back there and I just leave that like that so I know when we are uh, getting ready to leave that when I grab that cross chalk I'll see that of course and that'll be a nice little reminder hey get that out of there so we're all set up and stabilized now we got our jack stand in place with our little marker here so we remember that we have our jack stand in place uh, this other tip I have I can't tell you how many times I've been to different campgrounds and I see people have jack stands supporting underneath their slide and I, I definitely wouldn't recommend that and I know uh, Lippert doesn't recommend that as well the slide manufacturer one of the big issues with that is God forbid you lose tire pressure or the ground settles this jack having um, support underneath the slide here you're gonna torque the slide mechanism and create all kinds of havoc for yourself so you definitely don't want to do that um, I think that's pretty much my final tip with the with the slide and how I maintain it we hope these tips were helpful thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you at the campground thanks We hope these tips were helpful. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you at the campground. Thanks. Wait it again. See you at the campground. Well. Wow.